and sing, and carve a pretty song on your bones. Hey! Someone kill this crazy witch! I can make you rich! Quiet now. Granny needs to concentrate. There's my love. Are you ready to help get Slackjaw's bones? Granny has some birthday gifts for you. I've been saving them up in case you ever came back to me. Not going to help Granny? Well, I'm disappointed. You better leave. Mass man, fancy you showing up down here. Look at the pickle I'm in. Word is all over the street about your little secret, Corvo. You're the one that acts the Empress. Makes sense why you run around wearing that mask. Maybe you could help me out, since we're friends and all. Have a change of heart, dearie. Aren't you a gentleman helping Granny Rags with her stew? We'll eat well tonight, sweetheart. First thing, you'll have to put him to the knife. Don't want him crawling out of the pot now. What's he doing? Listen on me, Corvo. Don't help her. Don't let her kill me. You can have anything I own. You have Corn, to gut him whiskey. first, dear. I got a key to the sewerways. Whatever you want. Kill him first, my love. Then we can remove the chains. She'll do the same to you. There's no dealing with her. She's mad. But you know Slackjaw always keeps his word. What are you doing? Don't help her. She's out of her mind. I can reward you. What do you want? Money? Weapons? I'll kill you, and cook you, and eat your heart for breakfast. Look around. There's... It's her. Destroy it with the furnace. Says in one of her books it's the only way to get rid of her forever. No, his flesh... <laughs> Wanna know something funny? When we were kids, we were all scared of Granny Rags. Thought she was a terrible witch. Then we grew up and figured she was just a sad old lady. We were right the first time. Now ain't that funny? I owe you. This won't even the score, but it's all I got left. Luck to you, Corvo. Find your way into such interesting places, Corvo. 
at the eye of the storm, raging between granny rags and this man who has lived his whole life with a cleaver in one hand and a bottle in the other, crawling out of those flooded ruins, winding your way back to the pub where you last saw Emily. Where is she now? How does it feel now, knowing your allies betrayed you? Strange how there's always a little more innocence left to lose. And Dowd, the man who killed the Empress. You had him in the palm of your hand, and you let him walk away? You fascinate me. you, Corvo. I think Havelock called us into the yard, but I wasn't feeling well. I just watched from the attic. The Admiral brought his cutlass. He stuck Wallace through the eye with it. Then he did Lydia. Calissa he shot in the back with his pistol. Emily saw it all. Havelock kept yelling something about the things he'd done and how no one could ever know. Pendleton wouldn't even look anyone in the face. They said it was time for Sokolov and went off to his cage. I don't know what happened after that. Someone's down. Guards! Oh, yes.
to converse with someone on my own level. I couldn't agree more. Your expulsion from the Academy was a crime against natural philosophy itself. Which might have pointed out at the time. But it's pointless to hold a grudge. I want to ask you. About the elixir, yes. And I need to discuss your tonic. Why have you not tried the homeopathic solution? And where am I to find the subjects? I can't recruit from prisons as you do. But it's forced me to work with another agent derived from... Corvo, good to see that you still breathe. The city would not be the same if you were not with us. I've completed Piero's work on an arc pylon, but only just. With this device, we can send a powerful electrical signal through the nervous system, merely rendering our enemies unconscious, or they can be reduced to ashes. I've attuned it so that we will be safe from the functions of the device. It will only trigger in the presence of our enemies. This arc pylon is more powerful than the older design. It will function at a greater range, striking down our foes while ignoring us. I need my final sequence, which is recorded in the blueprint for this device. Havelock was inspecting it before the killing started. Return the blueprint to me. It was in his bedroom before he left. Hopefully, it's still there. 